Welcome everybody to another episode of Ecoville. I'm Nonsigele In 2018, the government of Zimbabwe declared the first Friday of each month as National Environment Cleaning Day to ensure there is sustainable environmental management and waste disposal systems. The most difficult aspect about such campaigns is sustainability. They might be implemented for a couple of months or years, but over time it becomes difficult to keep the momentum going and they usually fade away. The beauty of this story is that there is an environmental lobby group called Keep Bulawayo Clean which has managed to keep the momentum and their cleanup campaign is currently ongoing. Today on the show we are joined by the organization's leader Mr. Willard Shoko who will give an insight into the campaign. Welcome to the show Willard. Thank you so much Nancy for having me on your, on your show. Please uh, tell us when this organization was established and its main goals okay um this um this organization was established about um four years ago uh today marks the thousand and uh 577th day of the campaign the goal is to have a cleaner and better environment our motto is it doesn't take much to make a uh, a difference and that's what we've been doing every day trying to make those small differences but these small differences uh, add up over over time okay what are some of the measures that can be put in place to reduce littering in our cities uh, I think one of the biggest ones is uh, is awareness and educating the people so awareness educating even from a very from a very young age for us to actually start up this cleanup campaign is um, is because we were educated from um, from a very young age and also Loweo was um, one of the cleanest cities in the world I think it was one of the, um, it was actually one of the top five cleanest cities uh, in the world and we would like to bring it back to that to that to that glory but um, to to answer your question um, apart from education I think it's not uh, one organization uh, thing to make an impact there has to be more players in the private and also in the um, public sector I understand that uh, educating the public on the negative effects of littering is part of your campaign uh, how have you been able to put that message across to your audience and how well has it been received? So we, we used social media. Social media is actually a, a, a big source of uh, of awareness. So the social media has been very has been very helpful, and it's helped send the message out there. Do you think the private sector is doing enough to assist local authorities in reducing litter in our cities? I I believe that they they, they are playing a part, but um, with with any um, campaign, there's always room for for improvement. So although um, the packaging does have the signs of um, um, recycling and, and, and littering uh, and um, throwing, throwing away the litter in the um, in, in a dustbin, I think uh, I think there needs to be more in terms of uh, there's more that can be done in the private sector, especially on the on the on the awareness um, side of uh, things. Okay, how has your local authority and the public been responsive to your initiative? The the lo- local authorities have actually been uh, very helpful. Um, we've actually done. Uh, a number of campaigns with the with the, with the city council, and um, we've done uh, other local authorities have actually organised some some clean up campaigns and actually provided uh, materials for, for for cleaning. So yeah, the local authorities have actually been um, very very helpful. Is the campaign only focused on keeping Bulawayo clean, or it's open to other cities? Um, it's it's open to to other cities. We've actually had a cleanup campaign in uh, in Joburg, um, South Africa, in the Deep Street area. Uh, that was a, that was about two years back. We've actually had some in Lupani, and we've had some in uh, in Arani. So it's not just it, it's 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 called blow. I keep blow clean, but it's um, we've uh, we've had cleanups in other in other in other, in other cities and towns. So what is the frequency of your cleanup campaigns? The frequency of our cleanups is uh, every day. 
So, so from day zero, we've been um, trying to make sure we upload something uh, on social media on us cleaning up. And uh, sometimes it's just uh, me and my brother, but uh, sometimes you get other players who, who come and join us. And also we've got other organizations like Do It For The Kids. They, um, they actually pick the area, Blawayo City Hall area. So they, we meet up with them. It was every Sunday before the, before the pandemic, then every third Sunday of the month and every first Sunday of the month. But then um, because of the pandemic, uh, I mean, because of the lockdown, uh, we cannot do it as frequently. Uh, cleaning Bulawayo cannot be an easy feat because it's quite a big city. So what's the manpower like? What are the members? Are you working with volunteers or it's just members of your organization that are doing the cleanup? We have um, the Bulawayo members. We've, we have um, we've actually teamed up with uh, communities and we've also teamed up with um, other, other organizations. So in our area, um, Riverside, we actually, in fact, I'd, um, um, I, I'd, I'd forgot to mention that we used to clean up every Tuesday in our, um, in our suburb, uh, Riverside. And I think it's probably one of the cleanest. The community has been very helpful. Okay, that, that's, that's great. Uh, your organization has also expanded into tree planting. What brought this about and what have you managed to do so far? Okay, so like the name says, Keep Blawayo Clean is not just uh, Blawayo, uh, it's not just limited to Blawayo, it's limited to other towns and other cities. And uh, we started off uh, just um, focusing on litter, but then uh, we are now branching out to other areas of the environment that we can also uh, help to improve the environment. And we've also branched into tree planting. I think just on Father's Day, there was about 20 trees that were, that were planted. But then also we've been, we, we planted, I think it was 50 in, uh, at the park. And uh, um, the total figure now, um, I'll just have to confirm, but uh, I think it should be well over 500 trees so far. Okay, do you think the environment benefits from such campaigns? If we look, I think it was about two, three years back, there was uh, a massive cholera outbreak in uh, in Blawayo, and uh, this can be um, attributed to to littering as well. Um, littering also affects our uh, drainage drainage system, which can cause um, a lot of other um, issues. And the environment is not just a blower thing. Um, the uh, even on a worldwide scale, you know, the 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 environment is something that's now every a lot of organisations are looking at. And um, by adopting such measures, we can actually uh, help the the, the the environment. What are your future plans as an organisation? Um, the future, our future plans will be to start going into not just tree planting, but um, uh, more activities that can help um, that can help the the environment. Would like to engage more um, organizations. Would like would like to keep going uh, every day and cover more more cities and and towns and our goal is to to follow in the footsteps of rwanda um rwanda had a very um good cleanup campaign and now it's actually one of the cleanest cities uh in the world how has covid 19 affected uh cleanup campaigns the fact that people cannot uh gather means that uh, we cannot do our weekly cleanup campaigns with uh, with with uh, with Tiftik and also we are not able to actually do some of the educational programs that we that we um, that we do with schools because we've had some cleanup campaigns with uh, schools um, girls college um, CBC uh, we've also had some with um, uh, Lupani uh, Lupani School and uh, a couple of other a couple of other schools. So uh, it does have uh, 
uh, and, and and effect, especially on the gathering part. Okay. Emma has launched a campaign called Hashtag Clean Where You Are, encouraging people to continuously clean the places that are around them since they cannot uh, gather. So I was asking what uh, continuation measures have you as your organization put in place to make sure that the cleanup campaigns don't stop but there is a continuation the days are going to continue we're going to we're going to keep um continuing like today is 1577 and we are we're not stopping we are we are carrying on and i think that's actually a very good um, initiative by 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 emma who will also join in that as well well, on that note, thank you, Willard, for joining us. We wish you all the best in your future plans, and we trust you will continue to be custodians of the environment. Thank you, everybody who joined us today. Don't forget to follow us on our social media pages. Our handle is EcovilleZW. Our podcast is available on Anchor, Spotify, and Google Podcast. Join us next week for another episode. I'm your host, Nosikelelo Kwaka.